Hi everyone, welcome back to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we'll be discussing the problem node at distance. This problem previously has been asked in some companies as well, like Flipkart. So let us quickly read this problem and see what the problem statement says. It says that you will be given a binary tree which will have n nodes. So there will be total n nodes in the binary tree and you will also be given a positive integer k. The task is to count all the distinct nodes that are there at a distance of k from any leaf node. Okay, and every node should be counted exactly once. So let us look at the sample test case to get more clarity. Suppose this is the sample test case that has been given to us. Now, if you see, so with respect to leaf node, I have to see whichever nodes are at a distance of K, I have to consider them in the answer, right? So if you will see what are the leaf nodes here, four is a leaf node. Why? Because 4 doesn't have a left or a right child. 5 is a leaf node because 5 also doesn't have a left or a right child. 8 is a leaf node because 8 doesn't have a left or right child. Then 7 is also a leaf node because it doesn't have a left or a right child. Okay. Now with respect to 4, you can see that at a distance of 2, uh, at because k is 2 so the distance is 2 basically with respect to 4 at a distance of 2 you can see that you are having the node as 1 uh, okay then with respect to 5 you can see that at distance of 2 the node is 1 with respect to 7 you can see that uh, the node that is there at a distance of 2 with respect to the node 7 the leaf node 7 the node that is there is 1 and with respect to 8 the node that is there at a distance of 2 uh, is basically 3 Okay, so there uh, like one is there and three is there like one is obviously common for four, five and seven, but I have to write uniquely only I have to count uniquely only. So that is why one will be counted only one time and then three will also be counted. But why? Because three is at a distance of two from the leaf node eight. So that is why the answer would be two because there are two such nodes that are there for the given uh, tree leaf nodes. Okay, so this is what the problem says here. Let's uh, just finish the problem statement again. So it says that uh, any such node should be counted only once if there is any node which is duplicate, right? So for example, one was duplicate. So it was at a distance of two for a couple of nodes. So it was counted only one time, right? So that is what we have to do here. Now, how can we solve this particular problem? So for solving this particular problem, we have to definitely traverse the tree and while we are traversing a particular part of the tree, so we need to keep a track of the nodes that we are passing through. And once we go back, then we have to backtrack as well. That is the main logic that will be used here. And also since we need to keep a track of the unique nodes, so that is why we also need to use a set in which we'll be storing the nodes so that only unique nodes are taken into consideration at the end. So what we will do here is, when we'll be iterating, so we'll start iterating from the root node that is from uh, this particular node, okay? And we will run, like we will start traversing the tree. And then after that, what we will check is, we'll check that is the uh, current node that I am at, suppose initially I'm at where? I'm at one, so I'm at this node. So is it null? No, it is not null. So if it is not null, so I will have a array, let's say a vector V or something, and I will push it inside my vector. So let me do one thing. Uh, let's say I'll have a vector V, and now I will push this element one inside my vector, okay? And after doing this, uh, like what I will check is, I will check if the current node that I'm at, is it a leaf node or not? So I'll check, uh, is one a leaf node? No, because for being a leaf node, the left as well as the right child should be null. Since here the left and the right child are not null, so that is why this is not a leaf node. So then I can simply say that if it is not a leaf node, then I can simply call for the left and the right. So firstly, uh, like uh, one call at a time is done. So I will uh, call on the left, like from one, I will go to two. Now the moment I go to two, I'll insert it in my list, let's say V list. Okay. Then after that, uh, I will check, is it a leaf node? Is two a leaf node? Definitely a big no. So then after that, what will happen is we will call on the left and the right. So firstly, we'll call on the left. So we'll call for four. When we go to four, then we'll insert it inside the uh, V array or list. Okay. Then after that, we will check is this element four, is it a leaf node? Yes, it is a leaf node. Definitely it is a leaf node, right? And if you will see what is V dot size, what is V dot size? Uh, right now the size is basically three. And what is the index of the last node? If you see the index of the last node is basically what? The index of the last node is basically two. 
okay so i will check uh, right so this is basically index of the last node that is you can say n minus 1 th index now like because uh, this is the n value here with respect to this vector uh, you can say the uh, size is 3 uh, the last index would be uh, n minus 1 that is 2 so i will check uh, so this is the index uh, so will there be any node present k distance upwards that is what i need to check for this leaf node so for that i can simply see that if uh, the last index of the array if it is greater than equal to k then yes it would be present so for for this last index that is 2 since 2 is greater equal to k right uh, so 2 is greater equal to k so that is why you can say that it will be present and what will be that element that element will be the index that is uh, 2 minus k that is 2 so that uh, 2 minus 2 is basically what 0 so you can see that i'll get this particular element that is 1 uh, this particular node that is 1 here okay so simply what i will do is inside my set i will add 1 okay because one is uh, a node which is present at a distance of two from the node four okay now once this is done then what i will be doing is after this uh, what i need to do is once i'll be going back right so let me use uh, some different colors also right so once this part is done so now what is my job now my job is that i need to make sure that i am going back from here right when i'm going back so i need to backtrack whatever i had pushed inside the list v list i'll pop it back out okay so what i'll do is i'll say that okay now i'll pop out and what will get popped out the last uh, element will get popped out since four was pushed while i was coming down so four will be popped out now okay so we'll pop out four and then the list would look like this after this with respect to two now i will make the right call so right call will be made and i'll be on this node that is five and i'll insert it inside the v list and then i'll check that is it a leaf node yes five is a leaf node because with respect to it the left and the right child are what the left and the right child both are null so in this case what i need to do is i need to check that what is the size of the current list v so the size is basically three right because v dot size will give me what it will give me three now what is uh, n minus one is index what is the last index index is two so is the last index uh, greater or equal to k yes it is greater than or equal to k basically it's equal you can say so the value will be index minus k so that is zero so the node that is k distances away will be one for five that will be one and i'll insert in, inside the set so since set only will contain unique elements so one will uh, not get inserted inside the set because it is already there right after this when i'm going back from five so i'll go back from five because i had pushed it so now i will pop it so i'll pop back five okay then after that uh, for two both the left and the right calls are over so i need to go back i need to pop uh, out two as well from this list so two will get popped out and then with respect to one i have done the left call now what will happen guys now i will do the right call for it okay so with respect to one i will call on the right now when i call on the right so i'll insert three inside then for three i'll call on the left that is i'll call for six now for uh, six is it a leaf node no definitely it's not so uh, i'll check does there exist a left child no uh, there doesn't exist a left so i'll come back from the left i'll call on the right and i'll call for eight the moment i call for this no, node 8 i'll insert it and i'll check is the node 8 a leaf node yes 8 is a leaf node because its left is also null and its right is also null since the left and right both are null so in this particular case i can definitely say that this is a leaf node and now for this i will check what is the v dot size right now so the v dot size is basically coming out to be 4 so basically what is v dot size minus 1 the last index last index is what 3 okay so i'll check is the last index minus k is it greater or equal to zero yes basically the last index is greater than equal to k so this means that there will be an, an element which will be k distance away from the leaf node 8 and that is uh, what 3 minus uh, 2 3 minus 2 will give me the index as what 3 minus 2 will give me the index value as 1 right because if i do 3 minus 2 i'll get what i'll get 1 so that is this particular element okay because from uh, the leaf node 8 at a distance of 2 that is at a distance of k which node is present 3 is present so i'll insert 3 inside the set now okay and after this uh what will happen is since i had pushed so uh, now i'll be going back from 8 so i'll i'll do what i'll pop out this particular element okay from the list then for 6 also i'm going back because both the calls are done from 6 then after that from 3 i will need to make a right call so from 3 i'm going to 7 uh, okay so 6 was popped out from the list now after that what will happen is i will uh, push 7 inside now the moment i have pushed uh, 7 this note 7 inside right so then i will 
check is it a leaf node yes it's a leaf node so since it is a leaf node so is the size uh, is the last index of this list that is 2 is it greater than equal to k yes so in that case i'll say that the node that is k distance away from it would be uh, the last index minus k so that will be nothing but 2 minus 2 is what 2 minus 2 would be nothing but 0 here so at 0th index which node is there 1 is there so i'll say that i'll insert 1 but it, it will not get inserted and that's how you can see i'll go back so 7 will get popped out then 8 will get popped out and then from 1 also i'll go back because both the calls will be over so this list will become empty and you can see at the end of the day the set is having which elements the set is having one and three that is the set size is what the, if i see the size of the set so basically it is two because there are two unique uh, nodes that are at a distance of k from the leaf node that are at a distance of two from the leaf node for this particular test case so this is how you need to solve this particular problem using the concept of traversing a tree as well as the concept of backtracking is used here okay so let's try to implement the ideology in terms of code here and see what will happen right so what we will be doing here is uh we will be using a traversal approach for the tree okay and obviously i need to have an unordered set okay so what i can do here is i can uh, simply declare unordered set or you can say a hash set in java Right, so we will simply declare an unordered set and it will be storing the nodes. So let's name it as st and before every test case, suppose that if I'm having multiple test cases, so I need to do what? I need to clear that set uh, every time because if a new tree is given, then before that my set needs to be empty. So I need to make it as empty here, right? Then after that, I need to make a list to v, right? That will be consisting of the nodes. So I'll say vector int uh, list to v. Okay, that is what I need to declare. And after that, uh, I will do what? I will do a recursive traversal on the tree and I'll call for the root. I'll pass the V node. And along with that, I'll also pass the K value. And once that is done, then I will return what? I will return whatever is the size of the set at the end. Okay, now let us try and code the recursive function as well. So I'll write void recursion. And in this, uh, I'll first of all uh, be uh, passing the root and then I will pass the array as well so i'll pass what i'll pass vector uh, node ampersand v and then i will pass int k also right after this is done so what i will do is i'll check if the current root that i'm at if it's equal equal to null so if it is null this means that i need to return away from there right uh, otherwise what i what i will do is uh, so so i've written it, it in capital I need to make it as small, right? So I'll return away from there. Okay. Else what I need to do is uh, like if it is a node, then I need to insert it inside my list. Okay. So I'll insert this particular current uh, node that I'm at inside my list. And then I will check. What will I check? If it is a leaf node or not. Okay. So suppose that if the roots left uh, is equal, equal to null. And at the same time, the roots right. So let me just, okay. Now the roots right is also null. If the roots left is null and the roots right is null, okay, then it is a leaf node. Now, if it is a leaf node, then I will check that if the v dot size minus one, that is the last index, if it is greater than equal to k, then this means that there would be a node existing for this particular leaf node that I am at. There will be a node at a distance of k from it. Okay, so then I will say that inside the set, I'll insert st dot insert v of v dot size minus one. That is the last index minus k. So I'll insert that node here. And once that is done, then uh, I'll come out of this if. And after this, also one more thing that you need to do is uh, you need to uh, call for the left and the right as well. Okay. So if if it is not a leaf node, so you will say that you need to call on the roots left. You will pass the vector v and you will pass k as well. And after that, you also need to call the recursion for what? You need to call the recursion for the current roots uh, right node and then you'll pass vector v and you'll pass k as well and then after this is over after the recursive calls are over for a particular node after you came back from the left and you came back after calling from the right then you have to remove this node from your vector that is from v list okay so you will do what you will do v dot pop back okay or you will do v dot pop in v dot remove in java okay so you'll remove the last guy here so that is what we need to do here let's try and quickly see if our code is getting compiled correctly or not so it says that there is some error so st dot insert okay s e r t so let me just correct this now let's try and compile and see if there is any other mistake that i might have made it seems to work on the samples let's try and submit it to see if it is getting accepted or not guys
So you can clearly see that my code was able to pass all the test cases that were given in this particular problem. Okay, and this problem has been previously asked in companies like Flipkart and Microsoft. So I hope that you enjoyed this simple, short and crisp explanation for this problem. In case if you did, so make sure to give me a plus one and comment down understood in the chat and make sure to hit the like button uh, for this video. Thank you and keep coding guys.